Hi guys and welcome back to Food Review UK. We're going to do a quick triple review, trio review, Tri trio view. Recently I was in a baker's, no surprise there, and I came across these uh, crisps uh, on sale. I don't think I've ever seen them before, though MJ says that, I think MJ said that he'd heard of them before. Corkers. I thought the packaging was quite funky, a bit different playing into the whole British, uh, British theme. And yeah, I thought that some of the flavors were a little bit interesting as well. I mean, they're not necessarily mind-blowingly different. For example, we've got today, I'm gonna to be reviewing uh, sweet potato with chili, which is interesting. Hoisin duck, now I've seen duck flavored crisps before. Pork sausage and English mustard. I've seen ham and mustard, I think, but I'm not sure I've seen pork sausage. So a little bit different, a little bit funky. As I say, a brand I've not, not uh, seen before, so I thought, why not give them a go? Delve in. Just look like your traditional crisps in there. There's a bit of an earthy smell going on, but you can't really tell that that's can't really tell that that's duck or hoisin sauce. Flavor's pretty good though. Mm. Texture-wise, they're quite unique in that they're somewhere between say your generic Walkers and say a kettle trip. So there's not there's a little bit more hardness, a little bit more crunchiness. A bit of crunch, but maybe not as much. As you would get in a in a kettle chip or a Tyrell or something like that. Mm. Flavor is very nice. Could definitely can definitely taste the hoisin duck. Yeah, there's something a bit gamey in there. Yeah, not bad. I would happily devour the rest of that pack. Actually, uh, very tasty, quite sweet, um, which is something I particularly enjoy in savoury. I think I'd probably give that like a four stars. Okay. Next up, I'm going to go with the sweet potato with chili, just to mix it up a little bit. So we go from one to another. There we go. Again, not really much in the smell the department. Nice golden, actually not golden, orange colouring to that. Wow, not quite what I expected. They're very sweet, very sweet actually, one of the more sweeter sweet potatoes that I've tried before. I was expecting the chili to be quite, quite strong and be quite a deep heat to it, but actually, weirdly enough, it's almost got the flavour of chili without the heat. Yeah, I mean, if 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 you are somebody that likes sweet potato crisps, but are not necessarily a fan of heat, then I would say that these pro probably are something that you would maybe enjoy. Usually after, usually after sort of three or four crisps, you tend to start that heat starts to build up. It's not coming through. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. There's a, is there something there? It's not really. It's not. The oh so super sweet potato is enlivened with a charge of chilli heat. Maybe if I finish the whole pack, it comes through. But realistically, I'm not going to do that at the moment because I want to do the other one. No. Like I say, if anything, it's almost got a, maybe not chilli, but like pepper. You know, like when you have like a green pepper. It's almost got that flavour behind it. But it's not much here. Maybe the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Maybe my brain wants it to be hot. I'd give that rating. Actually, it was really, really tasty. Yeah, I'd give that a four stars as well. Okay. Finally, these mofos. Pork sausage and English mustard. Has to be said, not really a mustard fan. Don't mind a bit of whole grain every now and again. But I suspect this is more along the lines of English mustard. You can definitely smell the mustard in this one. Quite dark. It looks like they're um, fried or baked or whatever with the uh, skin on. Which is quite cool. Wow. What a bizarre flavour. I don't know if this is because I had the other two flavours, which are both quite sweet. This all, it almost has like a medicinal flavour to it. By the way, this is a lot hotter. It's still not hot, but a lot hotter than the chilli. Literally, I've only had like, what, two of those crisps? And the top of my tongue is already sort of tingling. The sizzling sausageness is enlivened with yummy yellow heat. A cracking crisp, the corker's way. Yeah, there's definitely a strong mustard flavour here. And fair play, I can get the sausage as well. It's um, quite a herby sausage, but a sausage nonetheless. I have to say, for a brand that I've never tried before, never heard of before, quite impressed. I would um, definitely look for these, as I say. There's just something a little bit more about them than, say, like a Walker's. But I'm not really a fan of the whole kettle chips that are almost too hard. And these seem to sort of 
place themselves quite nicely between the two. Almost a little bit posh, but not too posh. A bit bored on this one. It's another four. So just to recap, that's fours all round. Yeah, I mean, these are pretty, pretty decent. I'd say if you spot them, I would definitely give them a go. I'd say out of those three, my favourite, <clears throat> actually quite surprisingly, my favourite was probably the, um, the sausage and mustard. I was expecting to like the sweet potato the most, but uh, it turns out the pork, pork sausage and mustard is my favourite. Um, so yeah, check them out. Price-wise, I think I think they're a little pricey, although that said, I don't buy individual crisps to know what a normal one would be. I think they're around the 80, 80 85 p mark. So yeah, bearing in mind, not necessarily the biggest. Um, but in terms of quality, pretty decent. If you'd buy walkers, I'd buy them. So thank you all for watching. And uh, please continue to watch all of our amazing videos, depending on when you actually watch this. Happy Easter, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and uh, peace be with you. New shirts are now available on foodreviewuk.spreadshirt.co.uk, including these Bit of Crunch t-shirts. Check it out. Because that's a really fucking stupid comment, to be honest. You're a really fucking stupid cunt, so... <laughs> Unbearable. <laughs> Unbearable. <laughs> Unbearable. What is? I don't even know what's happening now. I don't. Is this some kind of? I have literally no idea what's happening. <laughs>